Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Life on Mars episode 6 already. Like how are we midway through February? January lasted a lifetime, this month flying by. Which means, where are we, 15th? Which means it would have been Valentine's Day yesterday. Yay. Right, um, I'm super excited. I... I say this every time, I'm hoping for more clues, I don't think I'll get any. I hope that we continue to see Jean and Sam's uh, relationship grow. I hope we get to see something happen between Sam and Annie. Also, if the lighting's a bit dodge, it's snowy. Not a lot. This is the first time we've had snow down here, so it just makes me really happy. So I'm feeling cosy. I also think I wore this last reaction, but I film every Monday, so I don't just wear this top. I do just want to, you know, I do wash occasionally. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. As always, the full length versions are over on my Patreon in the $5 tier. And let's crack on. Oh my god. Chris. Five more minutes done. And they call us the thin blue line. I've let you down. I know you can't hear me, but it doesn't make this any easier. I can hear you, Mum. They showed me this scan of your brain. They look for these patches of colour and there's nothing, Sam. For God's sake, Mum, get better doctors. Negligible brain activity. That's what they call it. Get better doctors, get better scanners. Oh, God. Don't say it. I've given my consent to turn off you. To turn oh, off. No, Mum, no. No! It will be this afternoon. Two o'clock. Sleep time, darling. I'll put this back on for you anyway, shall I? Like, how do you I'm even... Alive! How do you even cope in this world knowing that your oh, life support machine is about to be turned off? You bastards! Reports are that he's armed and very dangerous. He's saying that at two o'clock today, someone is going to die. Oh, God. Yes, two o'clock. You serious? Someone dies at two. So are you going to throw chairs around or do you fancy doing something about it? What? So he solves this, he doesn't die. Chris, get on the phone, raise the department. I think Doris is in there too. She's George's secretary. So they, the a story must have been written it's or something. I want to guess at it. Stick listen to the facts on the Gazette. Did you see it? Where was he? The window. This is the police! You surround it, show yourself! Can you hear this? We just have so much more in place, don't we, now, like with armed um, police officers and protocols and they're just going in bare here, bareback. Oh my god, an abandoned building like that freaks me out. Because part of me is like, if enough people stormed in there, caught him off guard, they'd be able to shoot him dead before Reg could shoot another woman. It's got to That's be another probably way. Probably why I don't work in the police. God, you can't start sneaking coppers into that building. I can do what I like. I'm senior officer. You send men in there heavy-handed, and you are like the match in a dynamite factory. We not want you drying up in the middle of the negotiations now, would we? Go on. Blimey, I've dreamt about this. <laughs> Don't worry, love. I it's love the nurse's right. uniform, Got then. Frisco. You know, something tells me Reg isn't round lots of birds. We stuff this down her knickers. It's the one place he won't have the nerve to look. I'll do it. 
We shouldn't underestimate this man. A stalemate can turn into a massacre like that. You're not in charge, Tyler. No, the bloke with the people at gunpoint is in charge. Okay, Reg. I've done something for you. Why don't you do something for me? Why don't you tell me what today is all about? Reg, I am not armed. I've got sandwiches and water for you. Reg, I'm going to unlock the door. I'm going to unlock the door and I'm going to bring this stuff in. Okay, I'm not trying to pull a fast one. You have my word. I'm unlocking the door now, Reg. Yeah, I thought the keys would be in. It's over. Drop it. Gov, drop. Just the shoot. Nurse is dead. And so are you. Gov, put the gun down. Do you want to see your brains all over the wall? Do you want to see your own? Drop it! Back away! He, he could have just shot him in the leg. You threw away my gun! At 8.30 this morning, an ordinary working man entered the offices of the city's most respected newspaper and took control of it at gunpoint. I want my story heard. Oh. What is your story? What you should be worried about, Inspector, is how the story ends. Well, what's he going to do after two o'clock? It's too hot for a here by this radiator. Get into heroes or cowards. Something is seen or done. Someone could or so perhaps. easily over override him with that gun. He, he wasn't even gun. looking at her. I've got to find the key to Reg Cole. It's a Monday. You normally play golf. Your clubs are behind the coke stand. You always bring them in Friday. Over the weekend they have to be moved so that someone can clean all the corners in your office. You're always surprised that they've changed position over the weekend. Yeah. You stay late every night. To write the front page. Only you don't, does it, Jackie? You sit in the office and you climb into the scotch bottle. You've worked late again. Who left the light on in the stairwell so that you don't trip up in the dark? I don't understand. Don't you usually wear your red skirt on Mondays? Are you spying on us? I work here! I years! What? I fix the locks on those doors. I help bring in the new filing cabinets. I mend the electrics, tend the grounds. Clean the windows. And they didn't even recognise him. I am him. here, just hoping that my little efforts will be noticed. I'm leaving. I'm going to walk down the fire escape. George. Oh. Oh. Okay, George, let me see. How does it feel to shoot someone? Is it how you imagined it? I don't want you to miss this. What will revive him? Uh, punch to the face. Hey, oh. What? Ah. Go for the fire exit! Shit. Ding. It's okay, though. Enough. I'm so stressed. At 2pm today, the hostages were forced to witness the execution of three police officers. Graduation day. <clears throat> I'm jumping off a 20-foot bridge into a weir with a bottle of Matthias Rosie in one hand. Go on. <laughs> I don't think you really want to be a villain, Reg. I think it's fear has made you do this. Just no karate chop his arm hero. up. No one to save. And I didn't turn around. 
because I knew my dad was home. Sammy, big boy now, eh? <laughs> He's not dead. Uh, and I will love me tender played at my funeral. That was lucky, eh? What are the, what are the chances? It's pretty good, actually. Well, you never know how far you're going to be from a boozer. Watch out! Wretch. So, two things. Firstly, do you think it will get to a point where Sam gets to choose whether to come back or stay in this life? These are rhetorical questions, don't, don't give me any spoilers. And secondly, if he gets to go back, he's going to really miss this life because he's met Annie and he does get on with Jean and he's got a really good way of doing things. So, even if he goes back to his real life, he's losing this life now. So that's just a, he's almost in like a lose-lose situation. I'm, it's that, that episode, I think that was my favourite so far. I loved it. I loved the whole hostage situation. Um, Jean and Sam, uh, the two other lads with them, Chris and Ray. Annie's great. I just thought the whole idea that they were going to turn off his life support machine and, you know, in his real life, linked it with the hostage situation. I thought that was really clever. But I'm still no closer. So, okay, we know he's in a coma, right? I, we know that. We know he's in a coma. But how the bloody hell this is going to end, who knows? You know. Don't tell me, though. Um, right, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next Monday for episode seven.